Let me count this again. One, two, three. Only three ET cartridges. I need to get on eBay and get a lot more. Man. They should make a game where you just collect ET cartridges and ultimately you have to face ET for the final prototype cartridge. That would be a cool game because that's like real life. How come nobody's done that? Hmm. What, what is that? What it, what is that? Oh God, what the hell is this? Alien Greed 6? Huh. Why don't we check this out? So this is super interesting. It looks like somebody actually did create a game where you have to go collect ET cartridges and finally meet the boss who is Charles Deformed E.T. Atari Charles. Looks like Atari Charles signed it on the back. That's kind of cool. Great artwork. Brad McFagan did that. Uh, gameplay by Chris Reed. And as I mentioned, label and art design, Brad McFagan. Uh, manual design and game production by Brent Honesberger. And game testing by Tim Duarte and Brent Honesberger. Uh, I know I probably butchered some names, so... Um, Sorry. So I'm excited about this because personally I loved the E.T. game. I thought it was a great game. Actually, um, Howard Scott Warshaw? Shoot. All right, this game gets a bad rap. I personally loved it. As a matter of fact, the developer, Howard Scott Warshaw, created two of my other very favorite games. These are absolutely in my top 10. Yars Revenge and Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is probably in my top three favorite games because it was like a true RPG that was for the Atari 2600. This was also one of the first games to use two joysticks. You used one for inventory control. So I'm gonna go out there and say this was probably one of the first inventory management games ever put on a console. So when I saw this pop up on the forums the other day, I had to get it. And uh, one, I love to support my homebrew community and two, anything that has to do with, I don't know the word, anything that has to do with making light of the whole ET Atari 2600 thing, um, I'm gonna support as well. But this is when games started getting more complex, like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Most people couldn't figure out what the heck to do. They didn't read the instructions, they didn't read to go blow up the wall with a grenade. Same thing with E.T. Games began to get more complex. You think of uh, games like Space Invaders or Asteroids, you know, it, it's just you move and shoot, move and shoot. Th this, these took a little bit more thought, uh, which I think is why I loved them. I ultimately ended up loving uh, RPGs, especially when Ultima came around by Richard Garriott. I, and then I, I kind of lost interest as, as games got super complex, like when when the graphics just got so, so superb and real, I'm like, eh. It kind of takes all the fun out of it. I, 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 I like the games getting a little bit more complex, but I also enjoy the simplicity. And again, on many other videos before, I always mention I like the bad graphics because it leaves my imagination to do the extra work of filling in the blanks, like reading a book. Your mind takes over and you begin to create pictures of what you're doing. And when I played these games, I, what was going on in my mind was a totally different thing than on the screen. When you get really good graphics, there's no room for imagination. And that's where I lost interest. What do you say we plug this in and see what it's all about? Okay, I'm pretty excited about this one. I have not played it yet, just like typically on my videos, we, we fire it up together and see what it's all about. So you, you kind of get a reaction of 
my thought. I'm excited about this. The controls seem pretty easy. Push the button to levitate, let go of the button to go down. We'll see. I don't know what to expect yet. Oh, well. Okay. So it's moving automatically and you just got to navigate the platforms. I think I can do this now. Oh, I think that was a good thing. One eternity later. Once you let go of levitating, I noticed that you can't push it to go back up. You have to land again before you can levitate again. So that's a learning curve. And I can't move any faster until I get that pretzel. Okay, now we can go fast. Ah, so that's a cartridge that we're collecting, the ET cartridges, the little black ones. So you get points when you collect them. Oh, I got transported up and now ET is throwing celery at me and my job, oh, my job is to jump, jump on his head, but I'm going to die. You can crouch on this stage. I'm not sure if I died or won, but let's jump to the Retron 77 and record this in better quality. Do it again and see how it goes. I hate making videos. That last recording I had, somehow the camera got moved to time lapse, so it's not gonna be worth a damn. So I'm just gonna have to start all over. All right. So this is a very Mario-ish game where you move along, jumping on the platforms, uh, collecting things. Uh, the pretzel here is like a star. It makes you go faster. Do -do 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 so it's pretty simple but yet very entertaining at the same time. So the point is to get five cartridges and I haven't seen one yet. I get lots of pretzels, but no cartridges. Occasionally a bird comes, freaks me out. Man, no. There's a cartridge finally. So again, get five cartridges, then Atari Charles will beam you up and you have to battle Atari Charles. One of the cool things is, is Atari Charles as a boss stage is actually a pretty cool boss stage for an Atari 2600. Uh, it's pretty fun. All right, three cartridges. We need two more to get beamed up. So, birds always freak me out. I hate the birds. And now I'm down one life. All right, here's my last cartridge. Ready to get beamed up? Let's go. All right. So on the boss stage, you can move left or right and push down to crouch. And of course, pushing the button jumps. And those sticks coming out. Oh, son of a... I think if, like, if he touches you, we have to start all over and, like, you have to hit him a certain amount of times. But if he hits you, you lose a life and you have to start all over again. Ah, oh, see, I don't, I just keep dying. Well, I got 23 that time. That's 
probably my best score so far. I really want to beat this guy. Um, I find it pretty humorous that I'm this little dude and the things we're collecting is, well, I'm gonna die so I can start all over because that was bullshit. Anyway, I find it pretty humorous, besides the fact that we're collecting ET cartridges. Um, it's, it's a pretzel that makes you go fast, and ET is throwing celery stalks at you. I don't know the story behind that, but I find it pretty hilarious. Uh, celery stalks. Okay, three cartridges, we need two more. And then it's time to get for real. Now I should be able to beat Atari Charles. He's not shooting any. Oh, would you look at that. Now I'm down a life to go battle him. Stupid celery stick. God. It's patience. You got time. Ah, oh, son of a... One eternity later. Simple game, yet super entertaining. Good boss level. Certainly worth it. See, it gets hard. It gets hard. There has to be a trick. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time, and then I might decide I'm not going to ruin the end for you. And you can get this game and figure out what happens when you beat Atari Charles. Now I'm going to see Atari Charles with all my lives. Oh, see, I was trying to figure something else out. Dang it, and I hit him. I could totally beat him, but I didn't want to because I want to like let you give it a shot and see what happens and not ruin it for you. So I'm gonna let you do that. I enjoyed it. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's cute. The premise is awesome. Uh, I like a little bit of humor in it. Uh, the the stages like i said kind of mario-esque uh until you get to the boss level the boss level well it's also kind of mario-esque where you have to jump on them while they're throwing things at you and anyway i uh i i recommend alien greed 6. it's a good homebrew always get the cartridges because it supports the homebrew community it keeps them making them if you want to subscribe I, i'd appreciate that you don't have to uh but but it it's 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 cool. I guess it helps my channel get more than 150 views per video. Have fun rehashing a good old friend, Atari Charles, who is ET, and Alien Greed 6. Have fun. See you next time.